Good morning everybody. Today we are going to be doing a good chunk, um, chunk of this video inside my home. We are going to be going over the grid wide sports fishing game. Um, buying it, the website, setting it up, what to add, all that fun stuff. So first, if you don't know what it is, it is a fishing game that you can take all over Second Life on Second Life water. And um, we will show you um, what happens if you do it out of Second Life water and in Second Life water. So first, um, let's go ahead and go to the website. This link will be in the video of where to buy it. It's 500 Lindens. And um, if you lose it or anything else like that, you can get it re-delivered and they send out updates. Uh, as soon as you put an old rod on and there's an update, they'll send that out. Um, so, you can buy it for 500 lindens, but if you just want to check it out, and that's what we're going to do, is just the demo part and show it to you. We are going to buy it. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Place order. Buy. temp so I can delete it once you get it it'll be in your received folder open it let's drag it over and we'll go over, we'll go over both um, just in case the demo version um, doesn't have everything else so with the demo version it looks like you just get the HUD and a rod so let's go ahead and put both those on There we go. So, once they come onto your avatar, you'll see it. It'll you'll see it ready, and you'll have a HUD like this. There's several different HUDs, and we'll show it to you. Um, with this, I think you can get up to a hundred or hundred and fifty pounds. Let's see if it says it on the website real quick. It'll be 100 or 150 pounds. I think I heard yesterday someone saying 150 pounds. So, when you're sitting, you're going to hit the tackle box. You'll go to tackle, and you'll notice there's a lot of things to pick from. There is a note card. It does not come with the fishing setup. I got this from somebody else, but I will also put this up there for fishing bait. So, for salmon and king mackerel, cod, this is like all the things you can get. And this is the um, tackle you'll use for it. And I will minimize that. And we'll click wide range just for fun. It'll still say ready. Let's open up the chat. This button right here will let you put your bait onto your string. Now, if you're sitting down, you want to go to your um, tackle box again and left click disable. This will disable the animations in the rod. So when you fish, no animations are played. You can see where it says you're casting. As you can hear it go. Let's see what it says because we're right now, we're 107 meters um, up. So we'll show you what it um, says. It says you have stopped fishing to check your equipment. Now, usually it'll let you know that you can't be eight meters off the water level. So, what we are going to do is 
go ahead and stand and we're gonna go over to the ocean real quick find a here we go I think this is gonna be some linden property here maybe okay so now we're at water we are going to cast and you can enable since you're standing you can also let's see where it says custom colors you can do the eye which is what oops The string that goes through that little hole is the eye. You can change that color. You do pink for fun. Shaft color. This is the shaft here. And we'll just do green so you can see that. And the line color, which is a string. Now in the demo, in the demo, there's only one HUD and one rod and I'll show you um, what it looks like when you have the actual bot version when it says you fill a nibble that means um, a, um, a fish is coming around nibbling at your string people say more nibbles you get higher the fish count I don't think that's true I've gotten lots of nibbles and a um, small weight so Wow. So I caught a 16.17 um, pound fish and it'll let you know landed a Merlin 16.17. Um, your weight and the people's weight around you within 30 meters um, of you and the comp board will let you know what people have caught and I'll show you what that is. Um, and then you have the total catch of 16.17. Uh, this is a new week, so this is my first fish. So that's a really good catch. Usually you get like 0.1 to a pound, roughly. So let's go ahead and detach these. I'm going to go ahead and delete the setup. And... Poles. Yep. So I'm at version 3.07. I like as soon as I get a new version, I like to go ahead and delete the uh, the oldest one, so I don't have my inventory filling up with junk. So let's start off with the HUDs. And I'm going to go back to my house to discuss this because we don't need to be here for that. Have sounds on so if people come flying by on boats or yelling, I'll hear that. SL has been a bit slow this week for me, so forgive me as everything loads in. You'll have to deal with ugly gray textures as I talk. Okay, so... On the HUDs, it looks like there is four HUDs, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and add them on and show them to you. And wait for as these textures load in I think we will discuss um, some other things so your left hand rod and then your right hand rod these are packed versions of the rods now I don't use the right handed rod because when I go to competitions or out to fish with my friends I like to grab a beer add it to my avatar or smoke a cigarette and that usually goes on your right hand so I like to do the left hand poles. These are all of your left hand fishing poles. 
you have a child's fishing rod, a deep sea fishing rod, deep sea fishing rod um, size, let's see, transparent, okay. So the transparent one is if you have your own um, fishing rod, you can have that on, the invisible one can go over that, so you can use your own fishing pole, which I think is really cool. You have your um, dinky, Dinky is a small avatar. It can be like those little geckos or one foot human looking creatures um, or anything else very small, including those little kitty cats. I've seen those fish. So a lot of deep sea um, fish rods, old animations. I don't like the old animations. Um, they um, usually do weird stuff. Um, with their arm it looks like it's kind of broken looking and then an ice fishing rod I thought that was kind of cool so let me minimize this since we have the HUDs up all the HUDs pretty much are the same thing um, these uh, this version and this version is the same thing one is bigger one is smaller just like the one that you saw in the demo they do the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and detach these two this rod, sorry, this HUD will let you know everything that's going on, what people have caught, all that stuff. Um, a lot of people like it. I do not. I'm not a fan of hover text. I don't really care what everyone's catching. I like to look up and hear about the whoppers and stuff like that, which is cool. This, I think, works over the whole region, not just the 30 meters. So if you're on a full region people doing fishing you want to know what they're doing it's a great HUD this is the HUD I like to use this HUD has this white bar here and as you when it's white you can just cast out it'll I think I'm gonna misquote that so let me see if I can click it now let me put a fishing rod on Okay, so when you have your rod on, get it, bait. You don't get bait and put it on, it won't let you do this. So when it's a green like this, you are ready to fish. So we're going to go ahead and cast out. You can see it will turn white. Now, since we're in no fishing area, it'll turn to red and reel back in and then turn green again. And that's what you're looking for. But if you're not wanting to keep up with the chat with your casts and everything like that, this makes it much easier, more relaxing, so you can just chat and talk with your friends. Um, let's go ahead and detach that. We are going to also go over the websites and the competitions. Um, you also have a trident. Um, Think of Ariel's father with the big fork. Um, that's the trident. That's for mer people or anyone going underneath the water. Um, you have um, an old um, fishing stick. Um, I don't know what that one is. Display. Key fish display. That's new. So we'll res that out, see what it does. That's new to me. Uh, the fishing wand, I really like. Um, it only works for the for the right hand, but if you want it for the left hand, you can always um, turn off the animations and click it to your left hand and bring it in place. I have my own wand that I hide over it, so it looks like I'm using my own wa wand. Okay, so this is um, just keeps up with what's going on um, with all your fishes. Um, running totals for the week. Um, I have a hard time reading hover text. These are top whoppers. No, this is the stringers. 
And the stringers is a weekly competition. You try to get the closest to 25 pounds. Um, you can only catch five fish um, for the week for, and you can't go over five pounds. It's a very difficult competition. It seems easy, but trying to get close to five pounds and beating everybody is, is very difficult. And I'll show you the website for that. Magical. You have a fishing spear. A fishing ray gun. A lot of people like that. I find it highly annoying you have the harpoon so if you like to go scuba diving the harpoon is a fun way to go fishing and that is it for the items there I'm gonna go over the website real quick to get to the website you can go through um, if you have my pick and play hunter television just click on the sports fishing logo and um, it will take you to the website the link button not the logo I'm sorry link buttons right by the logo or you just have the HUD on and you can go through here most of all my boats will have that link on it so so let's go to the home button real quick um, yeah that page looks boring okay so total catch This is everyone's total catch for the week. This is Monday. So this is the second day of a new week. And I mean, you have people already reaching to the thousands. And if you're wanting to find your name real quick, I mean, there is, let me show you how many people are doing this. This is just day two of this week. And we already have 212 people using the system this week. And that's a lot of names to go through. So... What you can do is if you hit Control F, you will. Nope. Let's remove that. Control F. There we go. You'll get the search bar. Just type your account name. Mine would be Azioth. I'm going to type it in. It says one out of one. It'll highlight it. Bring your name to it. I'm in 183rd place. That whopper that you saw me catch earlier. So, let's go back up to here. You have the Whopper board. It's what people have caught this week for Whoppers. The highest you can get is 99.99 pounds. Got some good Whoppers out there already. The Stringer competition is what I was telling you about earlier. You have to try to get the closest you can to 25 pounds. This person was in a rush, 22. So, if you look down here, you have 4.99. You've got one, two, three, four, five people with 4.99 pounds, and they're gonna—I mean—they're gonna get right up there at the 25 throughout the week. You also have Flickr. If you have a Flickr account, I suggest you uh, join in and do that. People like to put all types of pictures up, um, photos. So you get all types of cool pictures from everyone fishing. Look at some of these whoppers, little dinkies fishing, all types of stuff. See, everyone likes to go fishing. Okay, competition running. So if you're in a competition and you would like to look at it without looking at the board or there is no board, um, we like to do fishing out on the lake once a week with competitions and I don't put out a competition board. I'll put out the link. So you can find the name of the fishing competition in here. And this can get a little big too, so you can always do the control F and type in the name of the competition. Um, knowing weekly competitions. This can be a little tricky. Um, it's very easy to navigate. Today is 3 6. So we are in March 6. Oh, it's highlighted. I never noticed that. So people will put up competitions. These are usually every single week. But usually if there's not a notice out for it, usually they're not doing the comp. Um, 
I will sometimes look at this if I'm craving on competition, but it's a 50-50 from what I can tell um, if there's competitions going on. Now, today is 9.32, closest one's 12 p.m. So we're gonna go ahead and left click. It'll bring the map, you can open it up. It'll open up on a separate page. So if you're wanting to do it this way, you'll have to open up the um, grid wide fishing to open up the page for visiting. Now I know these people do their competitions. I travel there. So let's, let me zoom out. And you can pull up the map. Oh, wow, it shows everything. How cool is that? So. You can travel. A lot of the fishing competitions are located um, within these regions um, in the mainland. So you can travel to it. Um, I love to do all the traveling to these areas. Um, if you're in the northern areas, it can be a little tricky. Um, there's a lot of band lines um, in the northern continents. So if you are in the north, um, travel to your waterways and navigate carefully. I know through here, there's band lines within the turns. So be careful. Once you have the map, let me go ahead and close this real quick. We're going to open it up again. You can hit visit this location. And it should bring it up in here. There we go. It's a G-rated sim. You can teleport and you can also pull maps up in Second Life and drop a marker out. And that is it. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope this answered y'all's questions.